Hey guys, it's MazeMan112, and today I have something a little bit different for you guys. I know a lot of you guys are fellow content creators, so I'm going to give you guys a quick tip, and this is going to be on GPU rendering for Sony Vegas. I'm using version 12, but this this works for all the versions, so let's go ahead and jump into it. First thing I'm going to go ahead and do is drag in my clip. Uh, the first thing I do whenever I drag in any clips is I, I right-click it, and I go to Properties, and I always make sure I disable resample. For some reason, this makes a huge difference for me. But uh, that might just be one of my personal opinions or one of those pet peeves that I have. Now let's go ahead and find out whether or not your computer can even do a GPU rendering. So in order to do this, we're going to go to Options and go down to Preferences. All right, it's going to pull up this huge, crazy preference thing with lots of shit going on all over the place. But what we're going to do is we're only going to worry about this one tab right here where it says Video. So we're going to click on Video, and there's only a couple things that we're even going to look at in here. Uh, the first thing is right here, you can see where it says GPU Acceleration of Video Processing. Right here is the big thing. If you see right here where it says I have an AMD, it's showing my GPU, so it's actually available. Now the only other question is if it's OpenCL or not. So let's go ahead and hit Apply, hit OK, and let's go ahead and find that out. But first, we're going to go over here to Project Video or Project Properties. Huge thing right here is a lot of people, um, they wind up making this template in order to what they actually want it to be rather than what their capture device or has already recorded for them and that is the key thing to understand what your output is for whatever device you're using to capture it and to mimic that as you guys can see I'm using 1080 and I'm actually using it at 30 frames a second and the reason why I'm doing this is because I use an Elgato and with the Elgato on the Xbox it outputs at only 30 frames a second even though the Xbox is inputting at 60 frames a second so you gotta make sure that you match that or you can have some some kind of issues before also make sure that your pixel your pixel your pixel aspect ratio is one. Sometimes you see that this is actually one and a third, but you want to make sure that it is actually one. A couple people like to change their pixel format to 32 bit or even a 64 bit. I like to keep it at 8 bit just because I'm playing something that's very fast paced as Call of Duty. The lower bit kind of helps. It makes it makes it a little bit easier for playback for anybody on any kind of device. In my personal opinion, again. Full resolution render quality is another huge thing. You want to make sure that this is at best. I think it actually defaults to either good or preview, but make sure that it is at best. And now another thing that you guys want to oh, another thing you guys want to make sure is that you have it start all projects with this settings. That way you don't have to go through this every time. Hit apply and hit OK. Alright, so now we go ahead and we edit our video. I'm not going to do any kind of color correction right now, but if you guys would want to see a little bit more color correction, I'm not going to do it because it really color correction is a personal preference, and, uh, and especially in, in games, it can change from map to map what kind of preferences it is, so I'll give you guys a brief overview if you guys want to see that. But on to the rendering side of things. We all know how you go to render as, and you're going to pull it up right here, and we're just going to call this uh, GPU oh, uh, render great typing skills you got going on there and what you're going to do is go right here and YouTube prefers an MP4 format that's it just is something that I don't know if it's just because they they work with it a lot but it tends to process a whole lot faster when you have an MP4 versus any uh, Windows media file or something along those lines what you're going to do is go down to where it says Sony AVC MVC and you're going to go down where it says memory stick QVGA 1128 so go ahead and click that and go ahead and hit customize template before we hit that render button customize template you're gonna get this this side the settings right here a couple things that you want to make sure that you change in here and it's gonna make all the difference in the world first thing is this memory stick I like to go to AVC it's gonna change it. it's gonna open up a little bit more things for you make sure that you have the frame size right here identical to what you already had picked in your project settings so I'm gonna go ahead and do that you want to make sure that your profile is on high don't touch your coding. Your frame rate should already be what it should be. The only next thing that we're going to touch is our bit rate right here. And what I like to recommend for a bit rate is 10. Um, 10 to 15 is pretty good. It's going to increase the file size. Some people might be able to get away with 6. Um, just remember that the, the higher you're going to put this, it's actually going to increase the file size. But if you have pretty good upload speed, it's, it's really not going to make a difference. And now the last two things I'm going to show you are the biggest things of the whole video. Here it is with the encode mode. Right here it's set up to go automatic right now. Recommended. We don't want that. What we want to do is go to render using GPU if available. 
and that's going to be pulling our GPU. And the reason why the GPU makes it so much faster than just going strictly with your CPU is because your CPU is, is pretty decent at making calculations, but it does them in sequential order. A GPU is even faster at it, and it kind of does, does whatever it can at that moment and then kind of pieces them all back together. So it makes it very good and very fast without losing the quality. But want to go ahead and make sure that we have that open CL that I had talked about earlier. Right here, you're going to click on the Systems tab. And in here, it's going to have this little tab that says Check GPU. Go ahead and click that, and you can see that it'll say OpenCL is available. That means your GPU is good enough. You can go ahead and do it, hit OK. Go ahead and hit Render, and you're going to see you're going to see just how much faster it is versus the other way that you used to render. Now mine right now it's going to look like it's actually kind of slow just because I'm actually recording at the same time so my, my GPU is already under a lot of stress and is already doing a lot of calculations per, per second. But it will be faster. I can go ahead and show you guys that. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to put two of them side by side, one rendered the new way, one without the GPU. And you guys can go ahead and see if you guys see any difference in the quality because they're going to be identical. In my personal experience, it almost renders at the same speed as it's playing. Let me know what you guys think. Let me know if you guys want to see anything else like this in the future. Make sure you guys leave in the comment section below. Make sure you guys hit that like button. Hit subscribe. And I'll see you guys later. Jessica Parker or whatever. Spotlight, bitches. Make sure you guys go ahead and check it. It's episode two of the Whiskey Bravo Squad podcast. Don't miss it. Yeah. And uh, they were all in there, and this is kind of a, a, a spin off of that one. It's supposed to be a much bigger map. Uh, but to me, the zombies, it's just too difficult. I feel like there's too.